Hello everyone, Tashi here and welcome to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is Are They Who They Say They Are? And this can be anyone in your life, anyone whom you're wondering if they are truly being themselves or if they're putting on a mask. You may be wondering about more than one person in your life, in which case I would suggest watching more than one reading. Just be sure you are thinking of your person, the person you are wondering about as you feel drawn to the group. Then once you've watched that reading, you can come back to the introduction and think of the other person on your mind and see what group you feel drawn to as you think of that specific person. But as you can see, you have five options to choose from today and we will take a close up look in just a moment. I'll also be using a specific deck for each reading, so we will also have a look at the decks in just a moment. <laughs> You'll notice that there is wording on the cards provided, the options provided. You may connect with the wording when you're thinking of your person, but you don't have to. I set the intention when drawing these cards that they would be used for the images alone. But group one is this beautiful blue haired lady and it says you are pure magic. Group two is this refreshing looking lemonade and it says turn lemons into lessons. Group three is this happy looking woman and it says unleash your inner wild child, get up and dance. Group four is the crystal ball full of flowers. And it says, your reality is a reflection of your inner world. And group five is this gorgeous lady. And it says, trust your intuition. She's always right. So those are your options. As I said, make sure you are thinking of a specific person as you are drawn to your group. Or the messages may come out mixed and confusing. I now also want to show you your tarot deck options. They may also assist you with choosing your group. So these are the tarot decks that I'll be using in each reading and I'll have all decks used in the reading in the description box down below. But now is the time to pause the video if you need more time to decide what group is for you. Once you have decided on your group, you can get to your reading by clicking the chapters at the bottom of the screen or scrolling down to the description box below and clicking the timestamp to your reading. But let's jump straight in and find out if the person on your mind is who they say they are. Hello group one, if you were drawn to the you are pure magic card then this will be your reading. You may have felt drawn to this particular card because of the wording but as I said in the introduction the wording is likely not to have any significance to the message that comes through today. We will see. To start, I will be looking at how this person on your mind shows up in the world, how you perceive them to be. It doesn't necessarily mean that is who they are. So that will be the first section. And this is how you view them, who you see them as, as a person. Then further in, we will find out who they truly are. So if you don't connect with the first portion of this reading, then this may not be the reading for you. And I'd head back to the introduction to see if you feel drawn to another group. I do just want to say you don't have to resonate with all of this first part of the reading. There are others watching and a message that doesn't completely resonate with you will be for someone else watching, but you do need to resonate with part of it. There should be part of the message that comes out here that hits home and you are just like, yeah, yeah, that, that is how they act. That is how they seem to be. And I'll also be getting advice from Spirit for you around this connection at the end of the reading. So make sure you stick around for that. But let's see here. How does group one see this person, this person that's on their mind? emperor the hermit how did the emperor want to land here 
I'm feeling upright. The Emperor and the Hermit, they definitely have a presence about them, Group 1. They seem quite powerful, quite in control, but also appear to have this inner wisdom. That's too many. You don't have to resonate with these cards, but they've come out for someone here. The Tower, this person can sometimes bring a bit of chaos. It doesn't have to be bad chaos, but they bring much energy into the room. Ace of Wands, they are rather passionate about a certain aspect in their life and not afraid to try new things. They all also might have quite an active sex life. <laughs> Page of Swords, they are heavy on social media. Perhaps they like your posts a lot or post online themselves a lot. They are really good at figuring out solutions to problems, I feel, here. And very social media focused. Remembering this is how you see them. King of Wands, they like to appear as a king. They are quite social. They like to get amongst it. They like group environments and they don't mind dictating to others what they should be doing. Page of Wands, for some they, for some they appear a little immature though. Pages can be a sign of immaturity and the lovers, but you do feel a connection with this person, platonic or otherwise. And you feel that they feel that spark too, that connection. There's a real chemistry for some. But yes, they do appear to have their shiz together with the Emperor here. Nine of Cups. They seem to be a very lucky person. They appear to have all that they need but there is a lot of miscommunication ace of swords reversed there's a lack of clarity from them you really don't know how they feel they send out mixed signals here and it's confused it's confusing for the both of you sometimes they appear distracted to you or indecisive like they just don't know what to do but interestingly, I also feel they like to have control. The emperor, they like to be the leader. This is a bit of a mixed energy and this may be because they send you mixed signals or they want to show up in the world a certain way, but their true nature creeps through. Mm. The Emperor, they have quite a bit of confidence. The Emperor is the father in Tarot, the authoritarian, and he has much confidence. He likes to dictate. He likes everything in order. The Hermit, but they do withdraw on occasion, whether that be from you or the world as a whole. It's like they are there one moment, then they've left the building without a word. The Hermit could also be a sign that this person is a mentor in some way or some kind of guide, but I also feel like they just drop random, random meanings and facts into conversations, like they know lots of deep, random things that they'll suddenly mention when you're talking with them. And Nine of Cups, they just seem to have it all, Group 1. You feel like they have the car, they have the house, they have the friends. Perhaps they have the perfect girlfriend or boyfriend, like the perfect partner. They seem to have it all together at all times. But Ace of Swords reversed. You don't know how they truly feel about you. You don't know if they are showing you who they really are. Obviously, <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't be watching this reading. <laughs> but they seem to be a bit all over the place at times. That sneaks through. Even though they are a boss man or woman, or at least that's what they like to appear to others, to the outside world, there's this unstable energy here. The world at the back of the deck. For some, they travel quite a lot. A lot they like to post all of the good stuff online their trips their holidays which is probably why they appear to have it all
But I also see within the world here that they just appear to belong, belong in the group, belong in the workplace, belong in the friendship group. Wherever you know this person from, they really have a place there. At least that's what you see. They have their people and their people like them. They belong. I don't know how else to put it. Mm. But let's see how they truly are. Let's see if their true energy matches what you are seeing. Make sure you do like the video if it resonates so far. It really helps the channel out. Who is group one's person truly, please, spirit? Two of pentacles. Two of cups. If you do feel that spark, they feel it too. They feel a connection to you, group one. King of Cups. They are actually quite a giving person. They want to help others. They really do mean well, I feel. As I said, they like to give to others. Six of Pentacles. They are a very supportive person, very generous with their time and energy. There's no ulterior motives. They just want to help. Which may be why the Ace of Swords reversed came out and the Hermit. They appear to withdraw or appear to be unable to give a clear answer sometimes because they're so busy trying to help everyone at once. Eight of Swords at the back of the deck. They do suffer with quite a bit of anxiety, Group 1. This is something they don't want others to see. They don't want others to know. But it creeps through with the Ace of Swords reversed. The mental fog, the confusion, the anxiety, it creeps through for others to see. But this is something they try to hide because they really want to appear like they have it all together. They want to appear like they have it all. The Nine of Cups. The Two of Pentacles is telling me that they are good at juggling much. They likely have quite a busy schedule and they do keep on top of it. Let's see what else comes through here. Show me group one's person, please, spirit. Hostilities. Interesting. Strategy at the back of the deck. There's that emperor energy. They do like to put a plan in place. Yes, they may seem a bit all over the place on occasion when you talk to them, but they really do think things through and they like to have a plan. I don't feel this strategy strategy card is a negative energy group one, only that they've been burnt in the past. So now they like to make sure everyone's on the same page before they reveal all of themselves. Hostilities. And broken heart. Yes, as I said, they have been burnt in the past. And so, yes, they do have some anger issues, some anxiety. They do appear a bit all over the place at times. But this, I feel, is a trauma response from a situation they've been through where someone really hasn't treated them right, where someone has broken their heart. I really do feel this broken heart really has brought out that anger in them because I don't feel in the energy here that they are an angry person per se, group one. 
only that they are angry at the world because of a situation they've been put through. I mean, we have the Two of Cups here and the King of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. They are loving. They are a loving and giving person at their core. They really are. They mean well. They want to help others. They only want the best for others in their life. But hostilities, broken heart, they resent a situation they've been put through. Perhaps for some this situation is with you or was with you. I sense that's only a small amount. If you know, you know. But at their core, they do feel deeply group one. They have strong feelings. King of Cups, they have big, deep feelings. Two of Cups. They just want everyone to get along. They want peace and harmony in their life. But they do get triggered by certain people, certain situations, because it brings up a past pain. I do feel with the Two of Cups here that if this is a romantic interest, they do have feelings for you, Group One. Part of them wants to start something with you to connect with you on a deeper level. But they are working through some dark stuff at this time, trying to mend something that's been broken within them. But I also feel that they aren't going about this the right way. <laughs> they are trying to, Emperor and Nine of Cups, show up in the world like they have it all, like everything is fine and dandy and they have everything they could ever need. They aren't mending their dark, painful feelings. They aren't facing them. They are covering them up sweeping them into the corner and placing a pot plant over them so no one can see. Mm. But let's get some advice from Spirit for you around this connection. Advice for group one, please. Five of wands. The Five of Wands is telling me that if you really want this connection, you need to fight for it, Group One, because this person has a lot of internal stuff going on. Page of Pentacles, try to connect with them, make them an offer, ask them to do something with you, to go out and do something, offer them your help in some way. The Hierophant, the traditional path is what is best when dealing with this person, with this connection. And Nine of Swords, ooh, there's that anxiety again. This is going to play a big role in your connection, I feel. But this is advice for you. So I do feel you really need to keep on top of any negative thoughts or feelings that come rolling in when it comes to dealing with this person, Group 1, because it's likely all in your head. Some of you may feel guilt around how you handled this situation with this person in the past. And you feel that they only see you in a poor light. But this can be mended. You'll just need to be ready to fight for the connection. For those that don't have dramatic history with this person, I simply feel that, again, to truly get to know them and connect with them on a deeper level, you'll have to be willing to put the work in. Be willing to take it one step at a time. The Hierophant asks you to take the traditional path. Page of Pentacles, make them a tangible offer. Do you need help with this? Would you like to join me at the movies? My shout. Can I help you with something? There's like, there's a need to put the time and energy in so that you can connect or reconnect with this person. And just take it one step at a time. Don't rush and don't... Let your mind fill you with self-limiting negative thoughts because this person really does care for you, Group 1. I just sense they're facing their own demons right now. That's what I'm getting for you. Put a little rainbow emoji in the comments below so I know what reading you're coming from. <laughs> 
You could put the rainbow emoji in without saying which group you are coming from so others aren't influenced into choosing certain groups. I'm a big believer in connecting with the readings yourself. But yes, I hope this reading helped you with working through this connection. Please do like the video if it did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I see you in another reading. Thanks, group one. Bye. Hello, group two. If you were drawn to the Turn Lemons Into Lessons card, then this will be your reading. You may have felt drawn to the image or the wording here. You may have felt drawn to the deck, which I'm actually excited to use my old deck, the original. I don't use it in many readings anymore. She's my go-to for personal readings, though. But to start, I'll be looking at how this person presents to the world. So what you were seeing, how you perceive them to be. This doesn't necessarily mean that is who they are. Then further into the reading, we'll find out who they truly are as a person. We'll find out if they are hiding anything. If you don't connect with the first portion of this reading at all, then this may not be the reading for you. And I'd head back to the introduction to see if you feel drawn to another group. You don't have to resonate with all of the first portion, but at least part of it. Remembering that there are others watching. There should be part of the message that comes out here where you're like, yep, yeah, yep, that is how this person seems to be. <laughs> but let's see. I'll also be getting advice from Spirit for you around this connection at the end of the reading, so make sure you stick around for that. How is group two's person showing up for them, please? How do they appear to be? Ten of Wands. They like to appear like they are hard workers. They like to appear strong. Page of Cups. That's too many. Two of Cups. Okay, that one wants to come out. The Emperor. Okay, so this person likes to appear like they are in harmony with you, like they are cohesive. They do try to connect with you emotionally, or you see them having those deep conversations with someone else, if you're not particularly close with them. Like if you aren't close with this, this person, then it may be that you observe them very close with others. They like all the details in place, the emperor. They like to dictate. They like to have their say. They like to be heard. They are also likely quite a confident person with the emperor here. They often appear to have quite a weight on their shoulders, like they have a lot on, but I also sense they may talk about how busy they are a lot, like they advertise it. The Page of Cups and the Two of Cups, this person is showing up as someone who has some deep and meaningful connections in their life. Perhaps you are one of these deep connections. For some, they may be quite creative, be in some kind of creative field of work. They don't have to, though. Mostly, I feel like this person just seems to bring everyone together, group two. They appear to be the glue, bringing all of the people together, making the plans, organising the events. They sometimes appear to be quite immature to you with the Page of Cups here. Pages are a sign of youth and immaturity. But in the same token, Emperor, they like to appear like the leader. They like to appear like they have everything together, like they are very structured and organised. It's almost like they demand the respect from others. But I sense some immaturity creeps through with the page here. You see that. I feel you can see that. And it may be why, why you're watching this video. <laughs> mm. 
But yes, they are showing up as someone who works hard, who has a lot on their shoulders, who likes to bring others together, who is loving and has some deep connections, and who's quite confident, who's, you know, they, they like people to look up to them, and they like to give advice, I feel. I feel for some, this person likes to take care of their looks, like a bit of a gym junkie, perhaps. What do we have at the back of the deck? King of Swords, yes. They, they may be quite good at strategizing, at solving problems. Someone who appears to be able to make decisions rather quickly and with confidence. King of Pentacles, they definitely present to the world as quite a king. That's how they want people to see them. They may also simply be a king, like genuinely. <laughs> we'll find out when we get the rest of your cards out. But the King of Pentacles is grounded. He is good with money. He is also good at making plans. And a hard worker, Ten of Wands. Mmm, but that's what I'm getting there. I will be interested to see if this person is who they say they are. Please do hit the like button if that resonates at all. It really helps the channel. But let's, let's find out who this person is, truly. Group 2's person, please, spirit. Who are they truly? Are they who they say they are? The moon, okay. One of the most complex cards in Tarot. Eight of Pentacles. I do feel they're hard workers. That is the truth. With the Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Cups in reverse. Well, this is interesting. The Eight of Cups upright would be a sign of someone who easily walks away from situations. But in reverse, I'm feeling they are someone who will stick around. They won't give up. Knight of Swords. This person is actually quite impulsive. They are quick to make decisions. And I think I, think I was picking that up in the first portion. But I do feel they are quite intense. They are just like, bam, I'm doing this. Bam, now I'm doing that. <laughs> bam, I'm going to do this while I'm doing that. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Uh, they have a very busy brain. And with the moon here, I can see deep down, they are actually more intuitive than you know. They can pick up on how people are feeling, what they are going through. Which explains the page and two of cups coming up. But in the same token, they keep their real feelings and their intuitive abilities to themselves with the moon here. They keep that side of themselves in the dark. Like I'm picturing if this was a romantic partner and you were upset with them over something, they would play dumb. They would be like, why are you so angry at me? I have done nothing. <laughs> but really, they know what they've done. Because they are not only quite intelligent, but they are very intuitive as well. Eight of Cups in reverse. For some, and I don't feel this is for all, but they are also the type of person who won't leave a situation when they probably should. They stay in that comfort zone, stay in those situations because it's easier, because they can't be bothered going through the drama to get out. Five of Cups at the back of the deck. Yes, this person is someone who really holds on to the past. They find it hard to let go. You can see these three spilt cups representing people and situations that are no longer working. But the man has those, those two full cups right behind him. Those full cups represent true, honest connections and real, fulfilling opportunities. 
but he isn't isn't seeing them he's not seeing them because he's so focused on the past and what isn't working let's see what else comes through to see the bigger picture here who is group two's person truly please spirit man holding a coin there's that boss man energy that is the truth <laughs> that's the emperor energy coming through deceit okay not the most positive card to come through and this could go back to the message I was getting from the moon. They are good at hiding their true emotions. They play dumb a lot of the time when they really know what's going on. I do feel that's all it is, group two. I'm not feeling a truly dark and toxic energy. Just that they are a little immature. But I also feel you already know this. They act quite immaturely. They hold on to things they shouldn't and they play dumb. They know what's truly going on, what's going through your mind, how others in their life feel in relation to certain situations. But they pretend they don't, which I can see is likely really quite frustrating because it would actually be a lot easier to speak up, to tell the truth, say, I'm sorry. But they have too much pride for that, I feel. There's too much pride here. Journey at the back of the deck. I do feel they are actually going through a lot right now. Again, this relates to the moon. There's some shadows they need to face. I'm sorry if you can hear a dog barking in the background. <laughs> But this man holding a coin showing up is who they really are and the emperor sitting in who they say they are is telling me that they really aren't lying about any good financial situation that they are in. I do feel they are good with money, likely have a good job and just very organized and thorough when it comes to their material world, when it comes to physical, tangible things such as money, nice clothes, a good house, a decent car. They aren't putting on a show as such. They really do enjoy money. They enjoy the finer things. They really get a kick out of that. Eight of Pentacles. They are a hard worker. They are willing to learn. I do want to make clear, I do not feel a bad energy here. I don't feel they are a bad person. They could be a really great person were they to face um, their emotions head on and not hide from them? And Page of Cups, Two of Cups, I can see they like to pretend they have it all together emotionally, that they are in harmony with others, that it's all love and rainbows, and they don't create any drama, <laughs> but they also know what they are doing. That's a mask they put on for others. Deep down, they know. Mm. But let's get some advice for you from Spirit on this connection. Advice for group two, please. The chariot. Time to get out of your comfort zone and have an honest conversation with them. Death. Seven of cups. Eight of wands. Communication. If you want this person in your life, it's time to have a real talk. The Eight of Wands is about communicating. And with the chariot here, I, I can see Spirit is saying, do this now. <laughs> Which isn't it always about having an honest conversation? Try to make this a little prettier for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
lovers at the back of the deck. Excuse the fingers. <laughs> YouTube rules. But speaking of their nudity, the lovers is spirit saying now is the time to be vulnerable with this person, group two. To lay it all out on the table and be completely honest. The lovers is also about crossroads, making a big choice. For some of you, you have a choice to make when it comes to this connection. Do you stick around and wait for them to grow up or do you let this connection go? I do feel having that serious sit down, I have something to say, conversation is important here though. The Chariot 2 death, there's a big change needed, an honest talk about what needs to change in order for this connection to progress in a much more positive way. And Seven of Cups. This can be about being stuck in a fantasy. Some of you have a lot of chemistry with this person, so you look past the negative quality, qualities they have and you let them get away with it. There are many options, a lot of daydreaming when it comes to your future with this person, picturing how your future with them will look. But Spirit is saying it's time to be real. And I know that sounds blunt and maybe a little harsh, but it's time to have those honest conversations. Talk to them about how you're feeling. If this is a close connection, it's time to speak up and make a big move. Death. There's a new chapter waiting, but to start a more positive chapter, you need to be real with yourself and real with them. That's what I'm getting, group two. Put a lemon emoji in the comments below so I know what reading you're coming from. <laughs> A little lemon. I feel like this is a more fun way of indicating what group you are coming from without actually saying the group number. <laughs> but I do hope this reading helped you in some way. It was a lot. <laughs> I really do hope it, hope it helps. Please do like the video if it helps and hopefully I see you in another reading and do subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, group two. Bye. Hello, group three. If you are drawn to the Unleash Your Inner Wild Child Get Up and Dance card, then this will be your reading. We are going to be finding out if the person on your mind is who they say they are. We'll be looking at how they act, how you see them. Then we will see who they truly are. Then at the end of the reading, we'll get advice for you around this connection. You may have also felt drawn to this deck, the Modern Witch Tarot. But yes, to start, I'll be looking at how this person presents to you, how you perceive them to be. This doesn't necessarily mean that is who they are. So if you don't connect with the first portion of this reading at all, then this may not be the reading for you. And I'd head back to the introduction to see if you feel drawn to another group. But as I said in the other readings, you don't have to resonate with all of it. There are other, others watching, but there should be part of the message where you are just like, yeah, that is how this person seems to be. That is how they act. <laughs> but let's jump in here. How is group three's person showing up for them, please? Seven of Cups, Indecisive, or has many options. Nine of Pentacles, Independent. I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles there, but I need to cover her up. <laughs> YouTube rules. I do feel this person appears to be quite skilled in whatever it is they do for work. But the Three of Pentacles could also be a sign of them always appearing to be surrounded by others. You always see them in group environments. But at the same time, they are a very independent person, Nine of Pentacles. They may run their own business, but mostly I just feel they carry themselves in a very confident 
and I can get it done way. They don't need anyone's help. Six of Cups. Their family means a lot, I feel. Just looking at this card, I feel for some they have children, that they appear to dote on their child, that they care for their child very deeply. For a small amount, they may have quite a childlike innocence about them, but I don't feel that for many. <laughs> but, you know, it did come through, so it's for someone. I do feel this person holds on to the past, but not in a bad way, more that they like to continue with their hobbies and their passions that they've enjoyed since childhood. Seven of Cups, they are a bit of a dreamer, they talk big, they always have goals that they want to reach. This person presents as someone who is independent yet works well with others. Someone who is surrounded by others quite a lot. They like to have their people around them. They are often part of group events, hanging with a certain group of people or helping others in some way, collaborating. But ultimately they appear to be someone who has their shiz together, group three, nine of pentacles. They make their own money. They do well financially, I feel, and they get it done. Seven of cups. They appear to have options, like they could do whatever they wanted and they would likely be successful. You can see all of those cups there full of different objects, different choices. To some, I feel they appear to be a bit of a dreamer, like a big talker. They talk a big, a big game. But to others, I can see you honestly feel like they really could do anything. With the Nine of Pentacles here also, I can see some of you feel like this person really could take on anything and be successful doing it. You can see the woman in the Nine of Pentacles is surrounded by coins. She's reached a stage in her life where she really can enjoy the fruits of her labor without working too hard. She's done the hard work and she's now at a stage in her life where she can relax a little. Yes, she still works, but she's comfortable. She's been quite successful somewhere because of past work and now she's comfortable on a material level. And so I feel strongly this person really does appear to be quite successful, a confident person to you, group three, someone who can get it done and someone who still enjoys passions and hobbies in their spare time, someone who still has time for their children or family in their spare time. King of Swords at the back of the deck, they can be a little emotionless. I do feel for some this person has a specific skill and this is highly attractive to you. Maybe they play a sport or they're a handyman or handy woman. Five of Wands, they are a competitive person. They like to win. But they do appear to be highly intellectual in some way, very skilled at something. Two of Pentacles, good at juggling it all. They have their finger in many pies and are very successful with every pie. Mmm, <laughs> but yes, I am sensing you don't feel connected to this person even though you wish you were. It feels like there's something missing here. It feels like they are uninterested. They are off doing their own thing and you want more from them. That's the message coming through here. But they do look good to you from the outset. I don't see anything truly negative here, apart from perhaps them appearing to be a little emotionless at times, not feeling connected with them on an emotional level at times. That's what I'm getting there. Please do like the video if that resonated at all. It really helps the channel out. And let's see who this person truly is. Who is Group 3's person truly, please, Spirit? We have the lovers here. I'll need to cover them up also. 
But I see within the lovers that deep down they are a caring and loving person, group three. But for some reason, they aren't very good at showing it. They don't show that caring, loving side to all in their life. Maybe it's set aside for only those who are closest to them. Everything is fine. This is an extra card in this particular deck. It's, it's imagery as much like the Ten of Swords. Again, I feel this card is confirming that they are very independent. That is the truth. They don't like to ask for help. They like to do things on their own, even when they are going through a rough patch or having a hard time. They are the type of the person who doesn't tell others. They get it done themselves. And when asked if they need help, they'll just be like, everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> Two of Wands, they are a planner, not the type of person to jump into anything without thinking it through. And Five of Swords, this is a complicated one, particularly with the rest of the spread here. The Five of Swords is about winning at all costs, no matter who gets in the way. You can see the person with all of those swords and the two people in the distance walking away with nothing. They're hunched over and they look defeated. People, people are complex. We aren't one thing. There are many things that make up a person. And this person is definitely complex. Because we also have the lovers here. They do care for others. I feel that strongly. But I also get the sense that's for those in their life who are important. Those who are closest to them. Those who run in their circle. And I feel strongly they care for you, group three. The lovers is here to say they care. And if you aren't overly close with this person, I still feel they care because they can see the potential of your connection. But the five of swords is telling me this person really will do anything to come out on top. If there's a promotion in the works, they are not afraid to show the boss how much better they are than their rivals. If they play some kind of physical sport, they aren't going to turn around and apologize to someone when there's a goal that needs to be made. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's a real competitiveness about this person, but I don't feel it's a nasty energy, only that when that adrenaline is pumping through their body, it's like they have blinders on. All they hear is, I must win, I must win. They are a very tough person, and because they are so tough, they forget that others are not like them. Others need reassurance. They need help. They need understanding. We have the world at the back of the deck. I do feel they are quite a worldly person. They've experienced many cultures. They like to travel. This is something that brings them much joy. But the world is also about completion, the end goal, something... They are always focused on. They are very focused on achieving something, then moving on to the next thing. They have high expectations of themselves, and I sense they don't often slow down enough to give themselves a true break, to take time out and just slow the mind. That's not to say they're impatient, quite the opposite. I just feel they have goals. They're like, well, I've achieved this. What's next? <laughs> we also have the Ace of Cups hiding behind there. Another sign that deep down they are a lover. Once you get past their need to constantly be successful, they do care for others. They do. I feel that in the energy here strong. What else do we have here? Who is Group 3's person truly, please, Spirit? We have patience there. <laughs> I do feel this is more when it comes to planning, when they're in the midst of planning something to reach success. Angel of Balance wants to come out. I won't take this. I do feel this is more they are good at doing much, balancing it all, because I honestly don't feel at all that they slow down very often, Group 3. More they are really good at balancing many things. This is where they feel most happy, being productive. We also have Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. 
The seventh chakra is our crown chakra. I do feel this person is very self-aware, group three. They do have an awareness about them for the most part. They they know what they can do, which is what likely why they are so successful. They have a very positive outlook on life. They are very strong and really quite confident also, I feel. They have a real sense of purpose down here on earth. They feel they have something to do. They don't want to waste time here. All of that purple in the card is kind of reminding me of ro royalty as well. <laughs> um, they really do have a presence about them that comes naturally. It's not a mask. That's just who they are. Mm, this is a lot. It really is. A very interesting person, a very inspiring person, I feel. Definitely the type of person I would want to be on their good side. <laughs> Angel of love at the back of the deck. See, I knew it. They are a lover underneath it all. They are actually a very compassionate and caring person, group three. They really are. But as I said, seven of swords, they do want to win and they often get blinders on because of this. But I feel strongly when someone that means something to them stops them for a moment, they are like, whoops, I was being a bit too intense there. I should have calmed down a bit and asked that person if they were okay. Those who run in their circle, they do have compassion, understanding, and a very caring, loving energy for. I'm kind of picturing... <laughs> You know those those motorbike gangs, not the nasty ones, the good ones. Uh, those ones that, yes, from the outset, still look a little scary, a little intimidating, but deep down they care a lot about others. I remember hearing of a bikey gang who would stick up for children who aren't being looked after or who are being abused because they care. Yes, bikey people are full on yes the way they do things aren't all that conventional but they mean well and they only want the best for others obviously not all bikers from gangs but you know what i mean and this is where this everything is fine card comes in like this person can be copying it left right and center from others in their life but they will still be like i am fine i am fine go check on Joey down the street, he's the one that really needs help. He's the one you should be looking out for. Yes, they want su success, they want achievement, they want to win. But I don't feel it's really a bad thing. It's not in a malicious way. They want to be high up, they want to be successful, so they can do more for others, I feel. But let's get you some advice. See what advice Spirit has for you around this connection. Advice for group three, please. You need to stand up for yourself, group three. Stand your ground. Nine of cups. Interesting. Knight of pentacles. Nine of Cups to the Knight of Pentacles is a sign from Spirit that should you persevere with this relationship, it will pay off and have great significance in your life. The Nine of Cups is the Wish Fulfillment card. The High Priestess, really trust your intuition. Do what feels right on the inside. You may be looking too much on the outside when it comes to dealing with this person. The High Priestess asks you to go deep within and that may be facing uncomfortable fears around, you know, will this person really like me if I show up fully as myself? Will this person still want me in their life if I speak my truth? Seven of Wands, I do feel you need to stand your ground on something. This may be in relation to a specific disagreement you've had with this person, but mostly I feel it's more general than that. I feel spirit wants you to stand up for who you are. 
Don't bend to impress this person or to sway them into thinking they are right at all times or sway them into thinking you are the person they need in their life because what they will actually find more impressive is if you speak your mind, speak your truth and stand your ground. What they will find impressive is if you be you unapologetically because this connection I feel strongly has great significance in your life group three nine of cups this is a connection that can be big that can mean a lot but the nine of cups is also about being receptive allowing yourself to be supported so just know should this person want to support you there is no ulterior motive we have the lovers here they do genuinely just want to help you so don't overthink it knight of wands at the back of the deck for those who are romantically connected to this person who feel passionately about them it's time to take action it's time to make a move with the knight of wands here wands are about passion and heat mm. So this person is important, I feel, group three, important to you. And if you aren't close with them yet, I can see the connection has the potential to be really great. Just make sure you are completely being you in the process. You are showing them all of yourself. Don't hide. I feel like the wording on your card is actually significant for you, group three unleash your inner wild child get up and dance <laughs> put a star emoji in the comments below i love the stars on her jumper there i have said in the other readings it might be nice to put the emoji in the comments rather than mentioning the group number this way we don't influence others when it comes to them choosing their group but yes put a star in the comments below because you are a star and make sure you claim your reading I hope this helped you with your connection in some way. I hope it provided some clarity for you. Please do like the video if it did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, group three. Bye. Hello, group four. If you felt drawn to this card that says your reality is a reflection of your inner worlds, then this will be your reading on is your person who they say they are? You may have also felt drawn to the Mystical Moments deck. But to start your reading off today, we will be looking at how you see this person. So how they are showing up for you. And as I said in the other readings, this doesn't necessarily mean this is who they are. It's just how you perceive them at this time. Once we see how they are showing up for you, we will then look into who they truly are as a person if they are showing up honestly or they're hiding something. Then towards the end of the reading, I also want to get you some advice from Spirit on this connection. You don't have to resonate with all of this first portion of the reading because there are others watching, but you do need to resonate with some of it. You do need to connect with it on some level. But let's jump straight in here and find out how they are showing up for you. How is group four's person showing up for them, please, spirit? Page of Swords. You may feel them spying on you. You feel them looking at you. The moon. They do confuse you. The way they act, it confuses you in some way. The moon is a very complex card. They appear to be a very busy person, always juggling much. I was only intending for one more. 
I'll take the King of Cups because I feel he is significant here. But death to the King of Cups. Some of you have noticed that this person has handled a difficult transition, a difficult situation with much maturity group four. You have observed this person going through something very hard and handling it in a very emotionally mature way. If not a specific situation, you have simply observed them handling all situations in a very mature, caring and selfless way. With the moon here, I can see that you are confused about how they handle the connection. Maybe something they did or something they said made you feel like your intuition is off about this person. That how you thought they feel about you is actually not how they feel. The moon is about confusion and illusion. So I do feel you are puzzled by something here. Two of Pentacles, they show up as a very busy person. Perhaps they have a few different jobs on the go. They are part of several groups or clubs. They are always doing something. As I said, I do feel some of you have felt this person looking at you, felt them spying on you in some way. They may get around your social media posts quite frequently. They may message you. But if not that, there is this feeling of being watched. And this is why you are confused by the connection. Because one day they seem to be liking your posts, messaging you, talking to you. Then the next, they appear to not have the time for you. Perhaps it depends what friendship group they are with at the time when they see you. Mm, that's how it feels anyway. But remember, this is your perspective. We will find out who they truly are as a person soon. This may all be in your head, group four. <laughs> King of Cups at the back of the deck. Wow, King of Cups twice. I forgot. There are two in this deck. This deck has its extra cards. This person appears to be very helpful, very calm, very caring. At least that's how they really want to be seen. They want to appear as an emotionally mature person. That's what they put out into the world. Their presence brings this sense of calm to many, I feel. That's what it feels like. They appear to be good at reassuring others and caring for others. They appear to be very understanding and always willing to lend a hand to provide advice to calm any heated situations. We have strength hiding behind the King of Cups there. For some, they, they look fit. They look like they look after their health. But strength is mostly about being patient, being kind, working away at something at a steady pace, putting the time and energy into something and not taking shortcuts, being very thorough and getting the job done in... A perfectionistic way. So I do feel you see this person in a good light group four. Some of you may feel a little put off by that feeling of being watched by them. But others I sense like it. You like when they pay you attention. Ultimately, you can see that they are very complex. The moon, they are a complex individual. But mostly in a good way, I feel. Mm, but let's see who they truly are as a person and see if it matches who they are showing up as here. Please do like the video if this resonated at all. It's a way to show your support for the channel and I really appreciate it. Who is Group 4's person truly, please, Spirit? Okay, way too many, <laughs> but let's take a look here. Two of Swords. For some, this person appears to struggle with certain choices, struggle to choose, and this may resonate directly for some. Some of you may feel like they won't commit to you as a lover, as a friend, apply it to your situation. But this person actually does have quite a positive outlook on life. They like to encourage others. They like to make others happy. Hmm. Three 
of cups. They are quite social. They enjoy going out with friends. They enjoy a night out. They love a social setting and they like celebrating even the smallest of things, I feel. But they also aren't afraid of downtime. There's a good balance to them here. Because two of pentacles, I do feel they are truly a busy person. So slowing down from time to time is also important to them. They need that alone time every now and then to recharge. Temperance, yes, what did I say? They are a very balanced person. Temperance is about balance. They know when they need to slow down and they know when they need to put the work in. Hmm, I love this. Glad I looked at those cards. Some very positive messages coming through so far. Let's see what else comes through. Two of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Can this person get any better? The Emperor. The star. Okay, wow. They are quite a person, group four. They really are. They are a good person. And for the most part, I can see your perception of them is right. And I'll explain why. Two of Wands showing up in who they truly are is telling me that they are a planner. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are a planner. They are very balanced. They go into things with much thought before they commit. Likely why you have felt confused by their energy towards you. If this is a romantic interest, I can see they want to be absolutely sure about the connection before approaching you. The King of Cups and the Star, they are caring, they are compassionate, they want to help people. The Star is about healing and encouraging. It's, it's about having faith. The emperor, they are a natural leader, a natural planner. They have a very masculine energy, a very powerful energy, and they want to protect. The emperor is a, a sign of strength and stability. And the wheel of fortune is about luck and fortune, of course, but it's also about change. They really are the type of person that is constantly looking to evolve, constantly willing to learn group four. Much like the death card coming out earlier with your King of Cups, I feel this person is very good with change, very mature, very deep, and always willing to learn, to listen. They really are an observer, I feel. But also Emperor, they aren't afraid to dictate and take lead either. But they are not too proud to take a step back when someone more knowledgeable enters. This is a really good quality. This is really, really good. I love it. King of Wands at the back of the deck. They are passionate and not afraid to take action when the need arises. Five of Wands. And deep within, they do have a competitiveness about them. But this really does happen in the background, I feel. This isn't obvious to many in their life. And they aren't the type to let that competitive competitiveness take over. Let's see what else comes through here. Hostilities. Interesting. <laughs> I really wasn't picking that energy up. This actually came out in another reading, but it made sense in the other reading. <laughs> I don't feel this person is aggressive or violent. Not at all. I'm hearing mistrust. Thank you, spirit. Mistrust. And we do have the star here, which, as I said, can be an indication of healing from something. I do feel this person has trust issues with those who are not close to them and this makes them, it makes them act a little distant with certain people, act a little cold. The temple path. This person is very goal focused 
they have a picture of what they want out of life and they are trying to achieve that. They know what they want, group four. And with this emperor energy here and the wheel of fortune, I really feel they will achieve what they want. They have a dream and I feel strongly that they will get there. They will be successful at obtaining what they have pictured in their head because that's, that's just the person they are. Walking away at the back of the deck. Ah, uh, so this is what is truly hiding. <laughs> they have recently had to let go of something, which is likely why they have those trust issues and can appear to be a little hostile with certain people. Financial constraints. Interesting. I don't feel they are doing poorly when it comes to money. But given this is further into the back of the deck, this may be that they don't come from money, which is likely why they are such a hard worker now, which is likely why they are so determined to reach their goals, reach their dreams. This person is really something. I, I, wish, I, I wish I had one of these in my life. <laughs> Ugh, talking about your person like they're an object. But truly, I'm getting a very good energy here. Let's see what advice Spirit has for you around this connection. Advice for group four, please. King of Pentacles. I'm getting the sense that this person really wants to enjoy the luxuries in life and they want to be a provider. There's something here about allowing them to give to you group four allowing them to protect you in some way that's not to say you need protecting but i do feel they are the type of person that wants to protect the hermit introspection for some there's something you really need to think deeply about before you connect with this person something specific I'm not sure what that is. You may already know, but this is something to do with you, your insecurities, your lack of confidence. And this may not resonate for all, but I'm sensing for some, there's a need to do that inner work with the hermit here, to take some time alone and do some soul searching. Really ask yourself what you want out of this connection, what you expect out of this connection and then approach them, and then connect with them. Four of Wands, the commitment card, the marriage card. This can also be about celebrations and community. And Eight of Wands. Everyone's getting the Eight of Wands today. <laughs> Which makes sense because the Eight of Wands is about communication, about talking, speaking your truth, perhaps trying to connect with this person around some kind of passion. Wands are also about passion. Communication is key if you want to connect more closely with this person. If they seem, you know, if they seem a little distant, we have hostilities here, there are some kind of trust issues. So if this is a new connection, I can see that you need to work at breaking down those walls. But I also feel that when you do, you will see the King of Pentacles. This this person is the King of Pentacles, I feel, a real giver. Just make sure you really do that inner work and make clear with yourself what you want out of the connection before you approach them. Set any boundaries you need and... Make clear what it is you want from them, not in a selfish, materialistic way, in a, in a connecting on an emotional level, I want this person in my life long term way. <laughs> the Four of Wands is telling me that this person is worth committing to group four, whether it be platonic or romantic, they will offer stability and long term commitment to you should you do the same for them. 
it may just take time. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is also the king that takes it slow, makes a plan and really thinks things through. But that's what I'm seeing for you, group four. What a wonderful person to have in your life. I really enjoyed their energy. Put a little crystal ball in the comments below <laughs> that goes with your card here. I've been saying in the other readings, we could use the emojis mentioned in the comments below rather than saying the group number. That way we aren't influencing others into watching a group. So pop a little crystal ball below and make sure you claim your reading. But thank you so much for being here with me. I do hope this reading has helped you gain some clarity on your person. Please do like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, group four. Bye. Hello, group five. If you were drawn to the trust your intuition, she's always right card, then this will be your reading. We are going to find out if your intuition is in fact right about this person. To start your reading off today, I will be pulling some cards to look at how this person presents to you. So what you are seeing, how you perceive them to be. And as I said in the other readings, this doesn't necessarily mean that is who they are. We'll find out who they truly are as a person further into the reading. So if you don't connect with the first portion of the reading at all, then this may not be the reading for you. And I'd head back to the introduction to see if you feel drawn to another group. You don't have to resonate with all of the first portion, but resonating with part of it is important. There are obviously others watching, so it's unlikely everything will resonate. I'll also be getting advice from Spirit for you around this connection at the end of the reading, so make sure you stick around for that. But let's see here. Is group five's person showing up for them please spirit ten of pentacles they may come from money or be quite well off financially they don't have to be though this may also be an indication of how close they are with their family how hard working they are the chariot Six of Pentacles, they appear to be very giving. You can see the man giving those children the coins there. They may have children. I'm also feeling for some, they appear to like animals, like they have a dog or some kind of pet. Queen of Pentacles, we have a lot of pentacles showing up here. They appear to be very money focused to you. But the Queen of Pentacles is, yes, very practical, but she's also very supportive to those in her life. She is the queen of getting it done, keeping her home life in balance, and also making money. She keeps everything neat and tidy. <laughs> I sense they present well to you, Group 5. They likely dress well and look after their appearance. This person is very, they're very driven. They're a driven person with the chariot here. Good at motivating others and determined to succeed. I feel like that message has come through a lot today in other readings. But remember, this is how you see them. It doesn't mean it's who they are. We'll find that out in a moment. I feel strongly they are either very involved with their family, very close with them, they may even work in some kind of family business and they appear to be very good at whatever it is that they do. For some, this person has a dog <laughs> and I know that's a random thing to mention, but spirit keeps pointing it out. This dog means a lot to them. They appear to have a strong bond to this animal, which is a sign that they are very compassionate and a very kind hearted person. I'm getting the sense that you feel this person is very tidy and put together. They have all of their ducks in a row. They present well. 
if you visited their home, if you're close enough with this person that you hang out or have been to their house, I sense they keep their space very clean and tidy. Like everything has its place. Everything is nicely organized. You may have met their dog. You may have, have um, heard them talking about their job, talking about their goals and dreams. They may have given to you in some way, whether that be physical help or, you know, provided you with some kind of advice, some kind of advice or motiva motivation to do something you've been needing or wanting to do. I'm getting motivational speaker vibes here. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, they appear to have the time of day for anyone. They don't judge. They will give their time to whomever needs it, whomever appears to need an ear or help of some kind. They are the first person to stand up for an elderly person and give them their seat. They are the first person to help move furniture <laughs> or assist with whatever it is that needs assisting with. They appear to be a gentleman or gentlewoman. King of Wands at the back of the deck. The social king, the entrepreneur. Again, someone who motivates and inspires. This person is a natural leader, I feel. They are not only a passionate person, being Wands, but also very intelligent. Kings are a sign of intelligence because they, they're the master of their suit. So they are incredibly smart. Mm, but yes, that's what I'm getting there. If you resonated with that part, do like the video. It's a small way to show your support for the channel and I really appreciate it. Let's now find out who this person truly is and see if it matches what you are seeing. Who is Group 5's person truly, please, Spirit? Page of Cups in reverse. They may not be as giving as they appear. I don't feel that's entirely right. More that they can be a little emotionally immature at times, perhaps, given it's come out in reverse. They may also seem to give and give to a situation, then disappear. It's like they give and then they take away. But I don't feel this is something they mean to do. I'm feeling Six of Pentacles, they do show up as a giving person because I sense strongly they are, but they aren't going to give their undivided attention to something at all times. And so it's as if they are taking away after giving so much. I'm not sure. That's kind of thrown me. We have the Two of Cups here. I knew they were good. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I can feel it in the energy. The page reversed really threw me a little there. <laughs> they really are the type of person who just wants peace and harmony in their life, Group 5. They don't want any drama. They want everyone, everyone to get along. They are a softy on the inside, I feel. <laughs> I'm picturing... um. <laughs> Those beauty pageants where the woman says, I would like world peace and whatever else they say. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being shown that, which I don't know <laughs> why I'm laughing. World peace would be great, particularly with what's going on right now. But Nine of Wands, they are a very resilient person. They have been through much, I feel. They are very strong. And the High Priestess, they are actually quite a traditionalist group five. The type of person that wants to do everything the right way, in the right order. They want the car, the house, the partner, the dog. They want marriage, the white picket fence. They don't take any shortcuts. They are very thorough, I feel. They are willing to learn, they study hard, and they are willing to work their butt off to get to where they want to go. 
Nine of Wands, they are resilient. The Nine of Wands is telling me that this person truly will persevere even at the most challenging of times. They are a problem solver. They will look at a problem and figure out what the best course of action is to get past it. They will not avoid. They will solve. Let me just adjust the camera here. There's also a fly buzzing around, which is highly annoying. <laughs> Sorry about that. This page of cups reversed could also be a sign that this person is actually quite guarded at times. They find it hard to connect with others on a deeper level. Probably why they are so close with their dog. <laughs> I know that's why I love animals. Because animals are less complicated. They love unconditionally. They don't play games. They don't hide. They just love. You know when they're happy. You know when they're sad. There's no reading between the lines. They just are who they are. And I sense this is likely why this person, for some, <laughs> loves animals so much. Because they don't want complicated. They want simplicity. They want harmony. And they want a peaceful life. Six of Cups. Again, the wording simplicity is popping into my head. This person is very gentle, kind, and caring. They really are on the inside. They're very understanding. We also have the King of Wands hiding there, which I believe was at the back of the deck in how you see them. So that is the truth. They are a natural leader. This really, it really does come naturally to them. They do have certain passions and desires that they're working towards. I don't necessarily feel they are overly social or need to be around people. Now, looking at the rest of your cards here, I'm not sure if I said that in the first portion of your reading, but the King of Wands is seen as the social king. So even though they may appear to be quite social, I actually sense this is the type of person that would be more happy to live out in the wilderness, grow their own food and be surrounded by animals. <laughs> not literally, of course, although maybe for some, but that's the vibe I'm getting here. I will say they aren't as money focused as they appear group five. You can see there are many pentacle cards in how you see them, but there is none in how they truly are here. So even though nine of wands, the high priestess, they are resilient. They want a traditional, I'll go make the money and bring home the bacon life or the opposite, depending on the gender, but they aren't obsessed with money. But let's see what else comes through here. Who is Group 5's person truly, please? Man holding a heart. Definitely the energy I'm feeling here. They are loving. They are kind. They want to give. There are no ulterior motives here. This person is someone who means well and only wants the best. And if this is a romantic interest in your life, it's very clear here that they are interested in giving to you, Group 5. They want to start something with you. If it's platonic, I simply feel they really do see you in a good light. Angel of Strength. This person has this inner strength unlike any other, I feel. They are empathetic, they are patient, and they really want to help and protect those in need. This goes perfectly with the message I was getting from the Nine of Wands. This person has learnt from difficult situations in the past, and because of this they have grown strong in more ways than one. Man holding a heart. Angel of strength. When it comes down to it, I feel strongly this person is a very good person, group five. So if that's what your intuition was telling you, then your intuition is accurate. But let's get you some advice on this connection.
Advice for group five, please. Two of Wands reversed. Upright, the Two of Wands is about making a plan and not yet acting. In reverse, I'm feeling now is the time to say something to this person, to connect with them on a deeper level. Now is the time to act. The Empress is hiding under there. Spirit wants you to know that if you put time and energy into this connection, you will reap the rewards. That time and energy will be returned to you. Four of Swords. I'm hearing take a break. Take a break with them. Try to have more downtime with them. Those quiet moments, those small moments will bring you closer together. Eight of Wands at the back of the deck. Nearly every reading has got the Eight of Wands somewhere. <laughs> This is about communication and it's also about speed, which I feel is relevant for you. Talking to this person, communicating with them and doing it now. Spirit is saying this is your best course of action if you want to connect with them more. You don't need a plan, group five. You don't need to overthink it here. Some readers would say with the Four of Swords and the Hermit here that it's time to retreat from this person and take some time for yourself. But that is not the case here. I feel that strongly, particularly with the rest of your spread. I'm feeling these cards are a nod to how you can best connect with this person, like how they are as a person. They like the deep conversations, the quiet moments. They are likely not the type of person you're going to connect with on the dance floor at some club. I sense they like nature. They like solitude. They don't like the busy, chaotic social scene. And the Knight of Cups is the love knight. Knights are also about taking action on something, making an emotional offer. Spirit is saying now is the time to approach this person, Group 5, to connect or reconnect with them on a deeper level, to have a real conversation with them, to confide in them. Talk to them about your values, your wants, your desires. Talk about your passions. Talk about the real stuff. This is something they will enjoy and they will feel closer to you because of your raw honesty. Remembering what I said about them not liking having to read between the lines. They like the raw, honest truth. This is refreshing to them. Hmm. So let me know in the comments below if your intuition was right about this person. <laughs> I feel like it was. Maybe not the money side if you connected with that part of the reading. Put a ring emoji in the comments below. I'm very drawn to the rings on this woman's hand there. I've also been saying in the other readings to try not mention the group number. Use the emojis instead. This is a fun way for not only me to know what group you are from, but it also doesn't influence others to choosing certain groups. I'm a big believer in being drawn to your own group. But that's it from me. Pop a ring emoji below and claim your reading. Thank you for being here. I hope this reading has brought you some clarity on your connection. I hope it helped. If it did, please do like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully I see you in another reading. Thanks, Group 5. Bye.